So let me show you an example. This was a client that was talking about um, her hallway. So she said, I had this long hallway and I'm thinking kind of like a panoramic shot and the, you know, the shot with the dogs on the bench, I think it'd be really cute. So she's like, but there's this, you know, temperature gauge here and there's a light switch here. And I said, Nancy, can you just take a picture of it so I can see what it looks like? Sure. So she takes a picture, she sends it to me and I'm like, okay, got it. So there's these art pieces on the left hand side, these kind of fabric wrapped art pieces. And on the right hand side, I'm like, oh, got it. Okay, there's the box you were talking about. There's a temperature gauge you were talking about. Okay, so the portrait has to fit on this wall. Okay, so now I have a visual of it. So it's kind of an odd spot. She couldn't really put a piece of paper on it for me to superimpose an image. So she was just taking a tape measure and she was, you know, stretching it out like this and going, well, I think 40 inches would work, but I don't know, 50 inches would work too. I mean, I guess I could even do 60. So, you know, I'm taking the image in Photoshop, right? And I'm cropping it to all these different lengths. And she's getting a little bit overwhelmed, right? Because she's kind of doing this on her own. And I didn't want to, I didn't want her to get overwhelmed and say, you know what, I'll deal with it later. Because you guys know what happens, right? When clients say that, they don't do it later. They don't come back. They don't order that image. And it's not just about the sale. It's not just about the money. Like she wants a portrait in that spot. So I want to help her get a portrait there without her being overwhelmed and stressed out. So I was looking at the images she sent me and I said, you know, those fabric pieces that are on the left hand side, um, can you take that off? Is that easy to take off and just hold up to the right side? Cause that'll help us see, is it too big? Is it too small? And she's like, sure. So it was actually Nancy's housekeeper that did this. This was the image that we were doing. So this is in her backyard um, on a homemade bench, right? So this is obviously gonna match her style cause it's her yard. And she wanted this panoramic long shot. So her housekeeper actually took that portrait, that fabric piece, put it up on the wall and Nancy's like, oh my gosh, it fits perfectly. Like whatever that size is, can I do that? So I had her measure it in Photoshop. I just cropped the image really quick. I'm like, yep, that works perfectly. So what size do you guys think this is on the wall right now? This is a 54 inch canvas, you guys. So I sold a 54 inch canvas to a client doing an ordering session remotely. So you can sell large wall portraits, okay? So it doesn't have to be in-person sales. This is convenient for my clients. It's convenient for me because they're at home. They can go to all the different spots. Um, the other thing is a lot of people, like we say, make sure all decision makers are present, right? And not all spouses wanna show up to the ordering session when you're doing them in person. This is a great thing at home. You know, a lot of my clients, like the wife will just pop in and, you know, tell her husband like, hey, this is what I'm thinking of doing. Does this work? And he's like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. Then she got the confirmation. We don't have to do the whole, let me go home. Let me ask my husband. So that is how um, I'm doing my remote ordering sessions. And again, my sales average is actually higher right now doing everything remotely.